IT CHAPTER 2 So uh, after, what, a month or so, we were finally able to go see IT CHAPTER 2 today. So this review is quite a bit late, much later than I was planning to get it done because we were thinking we would see it earlier and it just did not work out. So we went to go see it today and just a few observations I have when, you know, things that came to me as I was watching it. I had seen somewhere on some sort of review, like, um, like a headline of a review talking about or calling it a bloody mess or a bloodbath or something like that. And that is actually a very accurate summary of this film. It's much more like gory and bloody and nasty and just all sorts of like horror type elements happening than uh, what happened in the first, than, than what was shown in the first movie. And I was having a conversation with someone the other day about this. Um, before I saw it, I'd asked him what did he think about it. And I had mentioned that I had been talking with another person and they said they felt that it was a really good um, companion to the first one. It was a good balancing out of, of the first one. So, you know, well, I mean, it's meant to be that way. And this fellow that I was talking to said that, well, you know how in the TV movie that the parts of the movie that, that um, focused on the adults, that was the weakest part of the whole movie. That the best part was um, the storyline that dealt with them when they were kids. And as I'm watching this, I was thinking to myself, you know, he's actually right. I agree with that. And so therefore I do see why the reviews for the second chapter are not as stellar as the ones for the first, uh, for the first, you know, the first part, chapter one, because uh, I think the audience, I think the critical scores were like 60 something percent and the audience scores were about 75%. On this one, I'm, I'm probably leaning a little bit closer to the official critics than the audience, even though most of the time I do side more with the audience than with the critics. It felt to me, now I, I have not read the book, so I have no reference point for, you know, what to compare this movie to except for the TV, the miniseries that came back like in 1990, I think. So there were definitely a lot of similarities between these two, but there were also quite a few differences. Things that happened in the second movie did not happen in the TV miniseries. Well, yes, that's partly because they didn't have as much time. I mean, this whole story was wrapped up in maybe two nights worth of movies. Like, so let's say each, each one was an hour and a half. So about three hours, if I remember correctly. So they told the whole story in about three hours time it chapter two is about three hours long itself, just that. So some things that came to me as I was watching it, it's definitely much more bloody and gory. And by the time you get to the end of that, you feel kind of desensitized to it and just numb. And at, you know, at some point, you know, into it, it was already getting to be so much of these things that were happening that it, it just became funny to me and so I was laughing you know the characters were scared half to death and I'm laughing my head off at them just because at that point it was it had gotten hilarious to me instead of scary or serious and um, that's not necessarily a complaint because I do that a lot in horror movies sometimes things are so gnarly and gross that I can just only laugh I know it's weird but but basically my point is I was desensitized to what was going on and also it did feel like this movie went on just a bit too long like it feels like it could have been over about 30 minutes sooner than it was I think they just tried to put they just tried to stretch things out way too much um, unnecessarily so the acting was fine no really big issue with the acting at all. I'm not super crazy about Jessica Chastain, but I do feel like she was probably the best pick they could have made for the adult version um, of, of the girl character. Um, the, the choice of James McAvoy, he was perfect. Um, the guy who played uh, Eddie, 
the kid who was like a like very paranoid about germs and everything the guy who played him as the adult in my opinion he was the best actor of all of them as far as a perfect match that guy was absolutely perfect he had that kid's mannerisms down pat he was if you didn't know better you would think that he actually was this kid grown up he looked a lot like him he acted a lot like him a lot of these characters looked very similar to the um, child actors that they were portraying adult versions of um, Jessica Chastain, James McAvoy, the guy who played um, Eddie, the guy who played Stanley. Yeah, Stanley. Stanley was the Stanley was the Jewish boy, wasn't that him? I think that was him. Anyway, the guy who played the Jewish boy, if, if I'm getting the name wrong, he looked exactly like that kid. It was, a, it was amazing. Um, the guy who played Mike, he looked like he could have been that kid grown up. The only one who didn't look exactly, exactly like the, the character that he played the adult version of was, um, what's his name, Bill Hader? I, I might be completely wrong. The guy with the glasses. He did a good job. He was fine as far as his acting went, but he didn't quite have the look of the kid who played him and I can't remember that kid's name he's got an unusual name and I I couldn't tell you now what it is a kid from Stranger Things um so that I feel like the cast was a great match but as I said it was a bit long it was a bit too much with regard to blood and and gore and splatter and all this stuff but also in some ways the narrative felt it didn't flow as good as um, the first chapter did. It felt a bit choppy. And I don't know if that, that may have been an issue with the editing or what it was, but you know, at some point, this whole narrative of, some spoilers here, you guys, the whole narrative of the thing with the Indians, I don't remember that being in the movie, it, the, for the miniseries, it might've been in the, the books. It probably was in the books, but, so then they had this, hold on, I'm filming. <laughs> yeah, cameo, Arch here. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they can see you. <laughs> Sorry, this was fine. Um, so um, they had this whole thing with the, with the Indian um, ritual and the stuff they had to go through to defeat Pennywise or you know what they were supposed to do they had to gather these artifacts so Mike mentioned that that they had to go get these artifacts and then the group just kind of disperses and they do their own thing for a good portion of the movie they're off here they're off there and I forgot about the whole thing about the artifacts so and and then they come together towards the end and they have their artifacts and I'm like oh when they were coming together at the end I'm thinking wait a second weren't they supposed to gather some artifacts but they never really when they got these artifacts they didn't necessarily make it clear that I mean it it just like it feels like that kind of got lost somewhere and then it's back at the end when they when they came back together it's like oh put your artifacts and they were putting their things in this this thing their artifacts and I'm like oh okay so that was their artifact then I guess I, I don't know why I was thinking it was some sort of like mysterious item they needed to find and that wasn't the case but that was what I was left with when artifact was first mentioned so anyway so when they go off and they're doing all they do they're doing their stuff and it's like all this random creepy stuff is happening to them and they're going through all these different experiences and then it shows another person and crazy stuff is happening with them and it just felt a bit convoluted so I really do completely get where the critics are coming from with the, the the lower rating that they gave this one it's not the worst movie I've ever seen it's not the worst sequel I've ever seen but it's not it's just not as good as the first one unfortunately and I did go into this with a bit a bit of expectation and I was kind of worried you know when I saw um, that the um, that the critics weren't liking this as much and I saw the audience scores and I saw the audience score was like 75% around there mid 70s so I was like oh then that I, I might fall somewhere in the middle of that then now if the audience scores had been like 95 then I probably would have aligned with the audience and would have felt like the critics were just full of it but in this case I don't think they were and so this is definitely for me the weaker um, 
the weaker entry into this series and I think that's unfortunate because the first one was so so good but I don't know if this is just the nature of the story maybe in the book in the book is the adult storyline kind of weak as well I don't know um, it is true that in the miniseries the adult storyline was not quite as grabby and compelling as with the kids and I think part of that is just this subject matter when you're talking about kids in peril you do feel more of a sense of oh, you're just like really drawn into it and when it's adults it's a little different you don't feel quite as worried about their well-being I mean I don't know if that's the act the most accurate way to put it but that's kind of the way I, the way I think about it so maybe it's maybe it's that but I don't think it's only that I think it is also just it, it wasn't written smoothly it just didn't feel like it flowed as well as the first one did. So that was kind of a disappointment. It was a fun time. I'm glad I went and I'm glad I saw it on the big screen. But unfortunately, this, I had not bought the first movie yet. I probably won't buy it now and probably won't buy the second one either because this does not feel like a solid unit to me. It feels like a kind of lackluster because of the second chapter. So. Uh, I'm not saying that it was awful because it wasn't. It just wasn't as good as the first one. So if you kind of go into it expecting that, then you won't be disappointed. Most likely, you'll think it was fun. It was you know a good a good watch, but um, you know that's that's my main. Th those are my main thoughts. My main takeaway um, from from the viewing today and uh, I can't think of anything else to add if, if I remember something that I'm missing um, I'll come back out I'll, I'll make a comment or something about it but anyway that's it for this one you guys bye <music>